Wine Clubbers, welcome to ILO TV. My name is Paxton. And I'm Ange, and we're the wine enthusiasts. And we've got an awesome lineup in the newsletter for you guys. We sure do. We had an awesome time at the ILO Social last week. We made a little slideshow for you to see what you missed because it was an amazing time. These ILO Socials are just turning into something that we want to keep doing every month. So I every think month. we'll have one lined up. Not in this newsletter yet, but come September, I think we'll be plugging in our next I.O. social. Tons of fun. But we have a wine tour on the 25th, Ange. Yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. We're making, we're blending, bottling, and labeling our own bottle of wine. Every single person. Mm -hmm. We're going to be, our, we're going to yeah. be wine makers. I yes. Paul Bosk, watch out. Yes. I don't know how well I can make it, but I can drink it really well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Me too. And then we're going to Inniskillen and doing naked wine tasting there. So it's all blind to train your palate. Mm -hmm. And then we're tasting Mike Ware wines and uh, Wayne Gretzky wines. Nice. So it's nice. going to be a good time. Yes. And so we've got a few spots left, guys, so RSVP. Definitely. So this part of the, the video here, we're going to have a little segment coming up on wine tasting steps. There's five of them. We're going to have that coming next, so please stay tuned. Five steps. Cheers, Ange. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we're going to share a little wine tip with you, and that is the five easy steps to tasting wine. Very easy steps to trying wine. We've got um, sight, swirl, smell, sip, and savor. So let's go. All right, so sense of sight. So basically, you're going to look at the wine, color, clarity. As we can see, this is a nice white wine. With whites, they tend, with, as a, for Chardonnays, they actually tend to get darker with age. And with red wines, they tend to get a little lighter with age as the tannins start to fall from the wine. So that's just one quick little tip you can see when you're actually looking at the color and the clarity. You can might be able to tell the age, white wine, red wine, rosé. That's about it. The second one is swirl. You want to oxygenate the wine, give it a little bit of air so that the aromatics of the wine can come out. Some people take a lot of uh, lesson learning at this one. Mm. It takes a little bit of time to master, but you want to swirl it around so it gets a little bit of air in it. There's all the ar aromas. Mm -hmm. And then smell it. Exactly. That'll let out all the aromas and then you can just stick your nose right in the glass and smell. So what's it smell like, Ange? It smells a lot like grapefruit. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of really like pear and citrus and you'll find your palate will develop when you start eating more fruits and vegetables and you start paying attention to more of what those fruits and vegetables smell like and taste mm -hmm. like and then you can apply them to wine. And a lot of people say, oh, is the fruit in the wine? No. no. The, the, the wine just takes on similar characteristics to a fruit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and the next one, let's try it. Let's sip this. All right. When you sip stuff, you want to... Mm. Just do one whole swallow down, mm -hmm. and then secondly, you want to gurgle it a little bit like you would mouthwash mm -hmm. around your mouth. Get it all around your palate so you get the full sensation of that wine. You want to get all your taste buds exposed to the wine, and basically then you start to judge. So you sip it, and then you start to savor it. You start to contemplate what's going on here in this wine. Do I like it? Is the first question you can ask. Is it have good flavors? And how's the finish? Is it a nice long finish? Is it something that's going to last or is this something I'm just going to keep gulping down or something I want to savor and enjoy for a long time? And this wine that we're drinking right here is a dry Riesling from Vineland. I'll show you guys the label. It's available in the LCBO, I think, but it is an awesome white wine. Um, it has sort of sparkling characteristics to it, too. It's, so it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot of grapefruit, pear, citrusy, and it's just a really awesome. So we highly recommend mm -hmm. it. It's, very it's not very expensive either. It's under 15 bucks. So, so those are the five easy steps to tasting wine. So what are they again, Pax? <laughs> are you testing me? Yes, I am. Okay, so you have to have your sight, your smell, your swirling, your sipping, your sipping, and your savor. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy, guys. Hey, wine clubbers! Welcome to. Sorry, I'll I didn't realize we were going yet. And then finally, what that's going to lead to is you start to savor the wine. You start to contemplate: Is this a good wine? Do I like this wine? Is this worth the money I spent on this wine? And what? How? What's the finish like? Is it a nice long finish? <laughs> Your phone. <laughs> I have them last time too. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to cut this. Hey, wine clubbers, welcome to ILO TV. My name is Paxton. And I'm Ange, and we're the wine enthusiasts. And, <laughs> nice little smile there. And we've got a great lineup for you in this newsletter. So we've got some awesome stuff coming up. Mm, I think that was a blooper. <laughs> yeah, I think so too.